start to finish last night. It was a great game uh, all round. How did you see the game? Uh, I think it was our style of basketball. Uh, we was able to control the tempo. Uh, we wanted to be the aggressive going into the game. And just in a hostile environment on the road, we had to be on our P's and Q's and we handled it as a team of all guys, including coaching staff and um, everybody we traveled with. What was the, the mindset coming in? Um, you know, you crashed the boards, had 12 rebounds. Uh, was that sort of a, a pre-planned aggressive mindset to, to do that role? No, nah, it's just my style of basketball. You know, I'm always going to play hard. I'm always competing to win um, and just figuring out ways to contribute to the winning side of the things. And so I was just playing my game and just doing what I do. It was uh, pretty physical, particularly uh, a few boys in foul trouble on both sides. Um, how did you see the, the physicality of the game and Kansas style? It's when you compete for playoff games like that, it's the level of physicality is going to um, turn up a notch. We was able to weather the storm with the fouls. And um, as a team, you know, we had all 13 guys contribute. Even those who didn't play contributed uh, as far as being on the bench, you know, talking to each other. So we just have to keep weathering that storm. Our next series with New Zealand is going to be physical as well. Um, it came, really came at you in that, that third quarter particularly. How did you weather that storm and keep composure during that time? Uh, just getting back to us, um, that's what happens. You know, it's like a boxing match. They're going to give you your best. So we, we talked as a group, as we always do, and uh, figured out what was happening, what can we change, and what helps us at the same time to, you know, get, through, get over that hump. As you can see, we was able to win the end of the third quarter and uh, continue on to win the game. Obviously, uh, everyone's talked about the big loss of not having Jet. How did you see Isaac and uh, Shorty Mack step up in, into that role? Yeah, they've been every, everyday guys, and that's kind of the reward they get. You know, in a moment like this, in a, a qualifying match, they was able to contribute, and the guys have been contributing every time they got a chance this year. So they had a bigger role and a bigger responsibility tonight, and they did their job. How, um, I suppose, how big a, is it a sense of relief or excitement? What's the overriding thoughts this morning? Oh, we're all excited, we're all thankful, and we all think we deserve to be here just from the work and um, just the day-to-day -day grind we've been putting in all year. So we just want to go to New Zealand, try to get one on the road, so we get one at Hobart. You came in, obviously, fresh this season, but a lot of naysayers said we couldn't do what, what we did last season. How did you view that sort of talk, or did you listen to it at all, and what do you view this group's chances of, of going into this semi-final series? Yeah, we heard it, um, but you can't listen to the opinions of everybody else. You know, you got to trust and believe in yourself. I just think even as individuals and the group, you know, we really haven't even reached our ceiling. You know, we got a lot of talented guys here who just plays the right way and uh, play for the better good of the team. So it's going to be fun to watch these guys grow and develop throughout the years and the next couple of weeks as we continue to march on and continue to get better as players and, and uh, as a group. I uh, spoke to Jet I uh, hear after the game. Uh, how was he? Um, did he have, could he string a sentence together? Yeah, he was. Uh, it was very good seeing him. We actually seen him before the game as well and after the game. And um, just him being one of the captains of the team and still supporting us, even though he's going through a hard time right now with surgery. Uh, we appreciate him, and uh, we just going to keep trying to win so he could try to come back for the grand finals. <laughs> what sort of motivation or inspiration does um, does him being here and, and trying to do it for him provide for the group? Uh, he's just a, a you know a pivotal guy with us. You know, a vocal leader. And so, I mean, just as far as the whole group, we don't want to let each other down while we're playing. So we don't want to let him down watching or the fans back at home down. So it's just kind of our, our chemistry and our focus point is just, you know, giving everything we got. And just finally on New Zealand, uh, obviously a really physical team that have been pretty dominant all year. How do you view them and um, how do you prepare for coming into game one? Yeah, it's going to be a physical game. Um, just got to get rest and get mentally prepared and understand, you know, the game plan that the coach is going to give us so we can achieve it. But I think we have all the right tools and pieces to make it happen. Nice. Thanks.